Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> We're here again with some more information for you guys. And some of them are questions that have been asked to us and some of them are questions that we've had, you know, trying to understand how things work and all that. And one of them, this one, this one is really, this is our pet peeve, just so you know. It is a little we pet peeve. We have a pet peeve. <laughs> It's my pet peeve. I'm not sure it's hers. <laughs> oh, it's mine. it's mine. It's been mine for many, many years. Um, when you're looking for information and you're wanting to know how something works or what the process is, who do you ask? In your community. Who do you ask? Where do you go? Where do you go, Miss Debbie? I always go to the source. I'm go sorry. I'm not to gonna the source. She's right. <laughs> the source would be the person in charge. Yes. Whoever that may be. Or the department. You know, you, do, you you're not gonna ask me how to do heart surgery. Right. I have no clue how to all I know is you cut your chest open and hopefully you live afterwards. Right. But I wouldn't even you know, know how to start that, right? Exactly. But you know, if you wanna know how to how things work at the landfill, you'd call Tina. Yes. You know, if you want to know what we do with the Chamber of Commerce, you would call me. But you don't put it on Facebook and say, hey, I mean, you're going to get all kinds of information that's probably, some of it will be accurate, some, a lot of it won't be. Right. Now, how do you determine which is right and which is wrong? Correct. Uh, to me, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't want all that confusion. I'm just going to pick up the phone. Tina, can I take this to the landfill? She's going to tell me yes or no. Right, right. And that is, it's just the simplest way for your life is, and yeah. I, you know, we talked about this when we started and started this uh, recording. We talked about when I was a Sunday school teacher, every year we would begin with the whisper game. <laughs> And I mean, I would just, you know, say one little sentence. All of you have done this before. And if you haven't, oh, yeah. try it. Get in a circle and just start with one sentence and say it to your partner and then go all the way around. I mm. promise you will not end up with the same wording. Oh, no. You no. won't end up with the same message or anything like that. And it's just better for you and a lot less stress on you. Oh, yeah. and you get the right information quicker. <laughs> right. You, you, know? you start typing on Facebook and making these comments or these questions on there, <laughs> and then somebody comes back that I don't even know who they are or, you know. Right. So go to the source, wherever it is, whatever community you live in. If you want to know something, not just about entertainment, but if you, right. you know, if you want to build a home there, go into the well, office and the courthouse yes. and find out what are the legalities Yes, and what, what are their plans. What permits do you need? What, right. you know, what departments do you need to go to? What, you know, I would just, I would stop putting it on Facebook. Right. I would stop asking a question on Facebook. I would do, and I don't. I do not ask questions on Facebook. That is funny. So. You know what's funny is, and, and I always say this to her, but I'm going to tell you guys too. I didn't tell her we were going to talk about this she never once does. again. Which, <laughs> go sorry. Ahead. I don't know. Maybe we should go to a commercial break real no, quick. She's fine. <laughs> she's fine. So, but when you are talking on yes. Facebook, it is kind of comical because I was talking to somebody the other day and I said, did you hear about something? And they said, oh, I did. I read it on so-and-so's Facebook. And I went, oh, okay. And it was a pretty serious conversation. And I was like, wonder what they said on Facebook. So I was going, but what's so great about it? So everybody bashes it. I'm getting there, but everybody bashes it. But the great thing is if you do get information from Facebook or Instagram, then you can just go find out who's in charge of that. Who really does know the correct answer, right? So if you do ask questions on Facebook, that's fine. But we're in a world of fact checking, right? Oh, you fact check I everything. I wish everybody did that. But really, we do. You know, we sit around at the well, table. Well, we you do. Can't, right. But so just fact check, you know, and, and do it several times. I know when I taught school, that was a thing that we did. You know, you never had one source. Right. Ever. Because it, I mean, one time we had somebody that had stars were lightning bugs. And it was on the internet. Yeah. And the poor little young lady said, but it was on Wikipedia or something. And I said, oh, baby, no, no, no. We need to check. So just if you see something on Facebook, yeah. you're not sure about it, you know, go find more information. Find the source. Or if you can't find the source, 
just look in other situations and other places besides Facebook. Yeah, and and I always, I mean, if I have a question right. about anything, mm -hmm. I call that department. Yes, she does. She does call me. She tells me, call uh, the state. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> call, call the department in the Kentucky State in Frankfurt. I'm sorry. Or, you know, I mean, she does, and that's great. No, it that's is. wonderful. Because I don't waste time. Exactly. I haven't spent a week listening to social media exactly and stressing out and not I don't know about you guys or, I stress out yeah or listening to face uh, social media and then turn around doing it wrong and then getting a fine or shut down or yes. whatever N I'm so, I don't have time for that mm -mm. so I just call the department or the or the source I need to go to sure and I find out what I need to do well now I'm ahead of the game because it's only been two days and I've already started and I'm doing it right and I haven't gotten shut down and you know, it just it's, a, it's <laughs> much easier you don't want to stress yourself out. And I do yeah. want to say that about the news, because yeah. you know, we've heard this how many years now? Several years yeah. about fake news. Yes. And that is one of our biggest goals in Kentuckiana News yes. is to bring you true, you know, dependable information. Yeah. And we've even had situations where I read an article about something that didn't happen in a meeting, you know, right. and it wasn't to be bad towards anybody else but it was misinformation right and you know just contact that person and say hey this is not the right information we need to correct it yes so we try to keep you in the know you know yep. in the information of Kentucky and news so. yeah we're always bridging the gap between uh, different entities or between sure. media departments like we, we partner with WLKY and then we send things to submit things to uh, Madison TV 15 Oldham mm -hmm. County 184 so we're always bridging the gap between exactly. the entities in our community so we're, we're so really and we, you know like I said check all situations all sources you know you wouldn't want to go and have heart surgery with this person that hasn't you know, maybe they got their license suspended. I would want to check Ooh, that, yeah, correct? Yeah. So just check your facts and use multiple resources to check those. Right. We don't care if you, in fact, check us. Hey, you go right ahead because yeah. we want to make sure we've got it accurate. And there, and there have been a couple of times that maybe I misspelled somebody's name or something mm -hmm. and they call and they, hey, Debbie, their name spelled it. I'm like, okay, great. Now go in there and fix it, you know, real quick. But we And wanna... I've written an article that I had quoted somebody and it didn't come out the way they thought it would be. And we went right back in and corrected it. But so we're right. normal humans that make mistakes, but we want you to be informed properly yeah. so that when you do speak about something or when you do post and you're helping someone else that it's proper information right and you know I always like if she asked me a question I'll tell her well this is what I think it is but you need to call this number <laughs> she does so always, again we're back to the go to the source Tina. <laughs> exactly don't ask me I'm just you know. I'm not all, I, you know I just know what I've heard and sometimes like she said you do that whisper game it when it gets back around it's not quite right so what I heard may not be exactly the way the process is so if she calls, well, then she gets the process. And, and then if, she's if done. you ever want to have an article or an interview with us, you'll hear us say this. Where did you hear that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's yeah. our favorite question. When we're doing an interview, somebody will say, well, I heard. And we're like, oh, where did you hear that? And here, hang on, let me get that phone number. <laughs> Now people don't even say it. They don't say, I heard this from somebody. Cause they don't like, because we, they don't want to give us the phone number. <laughs> so. They're like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I don't know where I heard that. Oh, well, then I can't fact check you. So. And, we can't, and we can't use it. If you can't give us, if you we, can't give us documentation, you're right. you know, then we don't, we don't use it. It's just. We that, can't. Well, that would not be, I mean, that would be considered into a fake news. And well, we don't want to do that. Exactly. We're not going to, we'll never we're do that. We're not going to do we'll that. I love it. Did you see her? She was like, and better yet. We'll never do that. <laughs> no, no. So make sure you check your facts and we'll move forward. I am so excited about the next topic. Oh, yes. Okay. So I want to tell the little background about it Go just right because ahead. even when Vicki watches this, so she'll know. When I started in Solid Waste, I was called out to look at the playground and if it was under, in, you know, I think it's playground right. well, rules and yeah. regulations. I don't know now about all that. this is the that. playground in Trimble County. Yes. It's the at the county park. Right. 
and it was tiny and we took pictures and next thing you know I had some parents that contacted me and they said hey is there any way that we could start looking into a new playground and I right. said well I don't know but I'll talk to Judge Todd so one conversation led to 20 conversations and now our county and hopefully all of you guys in local areas will jump on board and we're raising money to build a spectacular all-inclusive playground for children of all ages uh, all abilities and abilities all abilities all abilities it is it gives me co chills it really it gives me coach chills I mean it is the most exciting we talked to a grant company and they're working with us and working with matching whatever we're raising and so then that was the background knowledge I'll move forward then I gave it to our deputy judge Vicki Shuck and she took off and ran with it and she's been doing all kinds of fundraisers and I'm gonna leave the rest up to you because I can only tell you a little bit <laughs> on my part because after I gave it over I kind of said okay I'll be at all the fundraisers right. and help with that Go for well it. the Masons in Trimble County are actually backing this in order to be able to raise the funds and have a nonprofit account to put it all in and so all the businesses and individuals if you want to donate money when you when you get ready to do that you can either take it up and give it to one of the Masons and they'll actually put it in the account you can call Tina and I we'll be glad to come and pick it up and make sure it gets where it needs to go but this is so important because our kids don't have a playground if they have a disability and our community and you know our community is pulling together and it's not just for right. Trimble County it's for all of the surrounding areas. Well, within a 25 to, 25 to 50 mile radius is where you know people were going to come and play on this playground, and they're going to bring their kids, whether they're uh, you know what, no matter what their abilities are, they'll be able to play on the playground. And I think that's the most important part of it. So this I is guess being. I tell I can't keep my smile <laughs> from being on there. It just makes me so excited. And it's because it's for the kids. It's it's not for me. I'm well. I, well, I might be on there with my grandkids, but, right. but I'm not going to make a, a special trip just to play on the playground as an adult, but it's mainly for the children. And, you know, I know a lot of our corporations in Trimble County donated to another project that was just as important, and they donated quite a bit of money for that. So I'm sure with all the resources we have in Trimble County, we're going to be able to raise the money that's needed. But there's also entities outside the county that uh, large corporations that are going to be donating to this. And so. they've already started. Yes, I mean they started. call continuously. Mm -hmm. They call the judge's office and say, "Where can we do this?" And it's just super exciting. Right. And truly, I, I'm excited for the entire region. But our community, this isn't just for the kids, in my opinion, because when you involve the kids. The well, whole family yes, come together. They all benefit. I mean, we they can have. You know, I just, I, I, I have a great vision of this playground. I mean, I, I envision people coming and wanting to be at our Trimble County Park yes. to have a family reunion or to have their class reunion. Maybe they have a family day and a class reunion. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can't quit thinking about it. I hope that you get as excited. It's not just for our area, but we do definitely want yes. everybody in our community. Right. You know, with all the negative in the world, come on, let's build a beautiful playground. I mean, right. And when you look at this stuff, type it in. I mean, you can Google anything, right? Yeah. Type it in and just put in all inclusive playground equipment. You will not believe it. People children in a wheelchair can swing. Can swing. Oh. I'm gonna get emotional. Yeah, 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 she's doing it today. But <laughs> you can do everything. I don't yeah. know. You just so have to excited. keep this in mind. You know, if you're if you have a large family and there's not a lot of extra money left over, we understand that. So, you know, fifty dollars to fifteen thousand dollars, you know, whatever, or if you want to do fifty thousand, that would be good. <laughs> you know, but but whatever it is. I can't no believe matter, I got all so emotional about it. Sorry, Debbie. We we're, we're bad with the kids. We just we can't handle if you're you know <laughs> You, you got to be good to the kids. You do have to be good to the kids. <laughs> so just give us a call. We'll be glad to come pick it up. You know, individual households can donate. Make sure you take time to, to look and see what you can give to this in order to have this playground. You're not going to have to pay to go get on the playground once it's in there, but we do have to pay for the equipment and people to come and install it and make sure that it's, it's safe. Yeah. You know, it's going to be much safer.
It's, it, it is just beautiful. I mean, oh, we yes. don't have a design. We had one design and then we're moving forward on that. But um, it's yeah, progressive. It's a progressive thing, but it's just super exciting. So look out of round places for ideas and let us know what you have. Now give them your phone number so they can call you if they oh, want to drop something off. It's 502. 255-4280 and that is our solid waste office solid waste coordinator office and you can call me and I'll meet you I'm just I'm excited so <laughs> and then if you want to call me my phone number is 502-221-6068 and like she said we'll be glad to meet you any I can meet you anywhere in the county and pick up the funds and we'll make sure it gets back to the uh, Masons and then they'll put it in the nonprofit account and make sure it's all ready to go and we're just excited about it. So <laughs> we have to it. move on. You know, it's I got a little it. transition there, yeah. so I've got my tears all gone. <laughs> we'll be right back after this message. Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself? You'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We are just two miles from Madison, Indiana, and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park and Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you. Welcome back. We're back with our <laughs> second part of The Real Hi. Coffee Talk. So now t today, Tina had some questions. Um, she had somebody come up and ask her, "What is a chamber of commerce?" Well, I'm used to the, I'm used to the chamber. I've been in it for over thirty some years, and I know what the chamber is. So sometimes it, it makes me take a step back when somebody says, "What's a chamber?" But I realize most people are not in the chamber if they've not had a business or if they've not been exposed to it. So, chamber of commerce is an entity for businesses. And what we do is we make sure we have we find the resources that you need. We help you with your marketing, your social media, your three-year plan, your five-year plan. Um, we do business um, modules with you. We actually find resources for grants and loans. Um, basically, just short, whatever your business needs, that's where we are. We're there to support you. To help you build and to grow and to sustain you now that right. that's the hardest one is to s help make sure you have the things you need to s be sustained and that can be that can be difficult sometimes but we have all kinds of resources we have state that we actually go to we go to people in the state that do all this and they are fabulous yeah. and can she's gone with state. me a couple times. oh my goodness they are no we've talked about it on here before <laughs> yeah when we first went they yeah. are fabulous and Everybody is kind of in the same boat. Yes. So when you have a chamber, you're pulling all of your knowledge. resources, your knowledge, uh, your yes. experts yeah. together. It's it's about working together. Whether even if you're ten photographers, right? You still want you know all of them to be a part of the chamber. And there, there's going to be issues that if there's sometimes there's things that happen, and everybody has the same issue. Like <clears throat> well, with employees, we have the opiate thing that's going on well that affects the market we're, we're looking for employees sure so it's not just me it's not just Tina it's not just Dairy Queen or you know somebody else everybody's looking at that issue so now how is the state helping us address that right and then we actually pull from that knowledge and so it's just it's a lot of a lot of information there's a lot of support there's um, just amazing it, things that we can do and I feel like for my part of being in the chamber and I actually started a little bit rocky you know just because it's a new business and it was starting out but I felt like it it gave me a direction it was like do you have this and, and it, if you didn't so that's why I'm saying new businesses right truly if you are a, a single owned business and yeah. you're thinking I don't need a chamber you may not need that but it would help you right you know it's it's not necessarily, you know, you have to, but it helps you grow. I mean, we yes. had our chamber members already, because we're, you know, we're a startup, right? We're kind of a little baby, yeah. even though she's been in it. Right. You know, we're growing so fast. Oh, we've had people that are looking at us, going, "Oh my gosh, if I I'd have had this, you know, a year yes. ago, I wouldn't even have to worry." I mean, yeah. 
Yeah. It really is amazing. They, and, you know, we're going to have, we have several members that have already said that they would love to tell people yes. what the chamber has done for them. And we're going to let them do that. So in the coming days, you're going to see people that are going to be right. doing some things. They'll come and talk because, to us and tell us. Because yeah. I'm not as good of a, I'm not a good of a resource on this part because she is, knows so much about it. But it's, it has been so interesting. I mean, our, our second meeting. Yeah. Yeah, it was our second, maybe it was our third meeting. We talked about social media and how to promote your business. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I do this all the time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Oh, what? You, you, where do you go? And we were doing it right there, you know, all together. Right. I love it. So I want you guys to look into it if you get a chance. Yeah. And, you know, when people ask me who's done what and how it's happened for this person, I can't tell you that because when she comes to me and asks me to help her with something, that's my job is just to help her fix that. Now, if she wants to go tell people what we did, that's fine. Right. That's not my place. So, just so you know, I am not going to say I helped so and so and we did this, this, no, and no, this. No, 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 no. Doesn't happen. Mm -mm. But now, if they want to, um, by all means, they can say whatever they want. But when we get together, it is like a ball of energy. I mean, yes. We're asking <laughs> questions and, well, what are you doing now? I mean, it's, it's amazing. And I do have to, can I shout out the model people that I talk about all the time? Uh, well, as long as it's to do with your business, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell you who it is, but I'll tell you this. There is a group of people that own businesses. They all own their own businesses in our area. They are amazing, you guys. And, yeah. you know, if you came to our meeting, you would see this, but they do the same type of business and they work together. They have like bi-monthly, maybe even monthly meetings on their own. And then they come to our chamber meetings and they help us. I was so impressed with their conversation and right. because people that go into business continually or first always think it's about competition. And the nope. truth is when you get into business, you'll realize real fast. It's not, <laughs> you know, it's, it's more about networking, networking and building yeah. relationships and shining your light Yeah, and working together. Did this work for you? Did that? So that's what the chamber is all about. I am super excited about so many things going on in our community. Oh, I think, I don't know. Trimble County has just, it's almost like a, a a little chick's hatched out of an egg and it's just poof it's it is. exploded you know so we're we're really uh trimble county is open for business it we is. are and we're so excited to have you if you want to come and talk to us oh yeah again you can go back to those numbers contact <laughs> debbie you can contact me about the chamber yes but she is a great expert in a lot of social media things as you guys can tell yeah yeah <laughs> so you know tina and i work together on a lot of different things we and do so as being the chamber director i just i love it I, I love sitting down with people and showing them the resources they already have in their hand that they didn't know about um and things that they can get outside of and it shows you know it really does i can't wait I for you guys to see the interviews we'll move on from this today excited. but it is super exciting and the interviews will be even more magical because you're going to see people that were at a business like this right. that went way up you well know, their you, revenue everything and, and i can tell you what along that line we had people that didn't realize that there were loans available and that there were grants available mm -hmm. and just in trimble county we've been able to secure funds for businesses in the county everywhere from sixty-eight thousand dollars to a hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars so that's 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 big to me because all that goes right back into our community it's Well, now we have an interesting part of our show, which is, she gets all excited over this I one. do get excited. This I get excited about everything. She does. <laughs> so it's about, it's a live love section, and she's going to give us some information about self-care. So what can we do to do self-care, Miss Tina? Well, in this day and age, you know, there's two different extremes. Some people are like, <laughs> there's like self-care, it's all about me, 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 and then there's you shouldn't have any care for yourself because then that's egotistical. And I know all of you have heard this and throughout my life I've heard that, you know, confidence and ego and all of this is totally different, okay? Yep. When I talk about self-care, I'm talking about how you talk, treat, do for you. 
So it isn't about boasting and saying, well, I'd had self-care today, but instead it's about truly listening to what you say about you. And when you're talking in a community situation or you're talking to your friend, it really does make a difference to them even to hear what you have to say about yourself. So if you right. discuss um, no, not, not being trustworthy or maybe you discuss other people and this is a big one um, and I know how you how does that go with self-care well it really does it does when you're in a group environment or a discussion and you have a conversation come up about somebody else and you constantly are telling how bad they are or what they did or look at them obviously you're not taking care of you right because when you're taking care of you you see the beauty in everybody else but when you're not taking care of yourself, then you see all the things that are wrong with, guess who? <laughs> you. I know that's difficult to understand sometimes because you're thinking, well, how did their actions do anything, have anything to do with me? Well, if you noticed it and you pointed it out, it must be something you're battling with inside. So take time to have self-care. Stand in front of the mirror. I talk about this on the Moo Moo right. Talk this week. Stand in front of the mirror and say, I love you. And don't be talking about somebody else. Then, right. then that takes that, well, remember we talked about the happiness and he can't make me happy. You're right. You have to make yourself. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I agree totally on that one. People want somebody else to make them happy. Yes. That's not going to happen. It's not. Mm -mm. So if you're taking care of you, yeah. You know, if you're self-caring, you know, take a take time to have a massage if you want to, but whatever it may be, especially what's coming out of your mouth and the thoughts that are going through your brain, if there's something going on with you, it'll show, it'll come out. Yeah. So take time to have self-care. And that is your message from Live Love today. Yep. So now we're going to move on to social media. And the big thing about that one is we want you to understand how much social media can help you in your business. It can. Oh, oh it helps you in life. Mm -hmm. It really does. And in yeah. fact, I had somebody say to me, this is funny, yesterday we were doing Dare to Care in Trimble County. Somebody said, I Facebook stalk people. And I just thought it was hilarious. But after I asked her, I was like, why did you say that? And she said, I really do. But it's because she's from another area. Oh. So she said, when you get on Facebook, if people are like, cussing and talking bad about people and all these negatives she said I just unfriend them and I just go on they're just an acquaintance later in life and I thought yeah that is interesting so if they're saying happy things and right. and they're posting happy things then she wants to seek Be them out that. and become friends right. with them I, I tell you I have one big rule and it's not it's not against anybody but I try to keep my personal page personal with family mm -hmm. and really really close friends that come to the house or whatever that doesn't mean you're not my friend it just means that I'm trying not to let too much stuff about my grandchildren out there you right. know, their faces because then people can say well you know you're a Nana well now they can they're in danger right, right. That, that to me is where so if I haven't friended you or liked your friend request it's not any other reason that I try to keep that as small as possible mm -hmm. Because just go to your go to her public page. Yeah. Go to Kentucky Anna News or Bridging yeah. the Gap. But yes, definitely. But that's my reason. And I and I have one friend that the only people she has on her Facebook page are literally family. Oh wow. No one else is on that page because she has the same issue. She's worried about her children and grandchildren and right. she doesn't want people to be able to use a an event on her Facebook page to get close to her children or grandchildren. So right. That's and she always tells me, think before you post, because whatever <laughs> you share, and this is true, and I've learned yeah. recently, you know, when I ask people to share the Moo Moo Talk, and I'll say to them, only share this if it is influencing you in a positive way. Right, right. If there is something that you don't agree with or whatever, don't share it. But I remember her telling me that because I shared a post one day that I thought was funny, but it really didn't resonate with who I am. Right. And I was like, I never thought thought of it like that. Well, then I meet this lady and she said, I'm a Facebook stalker for the reason of, it, it, you know, knowing if that character. And I said, oh right. my gosh, you do judge on social media posts, I guess. Yeah. And then you have to remember too, whatever you post is an affidavit. So you, you've posted something and you think it's funny, but 
in reality, that can be used in a court of law. Sure. If you allow your friends, if I let Tina put things on my page that are very derogatory or inappropriate and I leave it there, that means I approve of it. Right. I may not approve of it. She teaches but that's me what so much <laughs> about all this all the time. <laughs> but that's what the that's what the community perceives is whatever's on your page is what you believe and that's how you think and do. Well, you need to remember that. You may not agree with the post that a friend put on your page, you need to take it off. Right. Because everybody else is going to think you agreed and you like it because you left it on there. So and it does affect your business. It'll affect if people see your personal page and things are not what they should be, then it will affect your business. And that's more information that you will receive in the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Just so you know. I mean <laughs> Well, we go into real depth is. over that. We we go into depth about the chamber helping you with your social media all the way down to the wording that you use right. and the, the content and how it's read by someone else. And we sometimes we have a few companies that we offer to help them with that stuff and a few companies have taken advantage of that and we actually go in and let two or three people read that post and say this is what I got out of it and they'll go back and change it right because what they thought they wrote was not read the same way so you, you you have all kinds of resources. We'll help you with just about anything. But just be careful and you know, I wish I had a little cute oh. little slogan, but think before you post. Ooh, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like think before you speak, but definitely think before you before you absolutely, post. Absolutely, absolutely. And then we've got a really cool event coming up and it's called the Pub Crawl. Oh yes, I forgot about the Pub Crawl. <laughs> yeah, that's what Can't the Live forget White Boys about it. No, that's what the Live White Boys and Girls Club. And of course, they do all kinds of things in the community. Um, they work in Jefferson County, Indiana. They actually uh, do outreach programs in Carrollton, Kentucky, Trimble County, Kentucky, and then some of the other counties. I know they do some stuff um, in north of Kentucky. Jefferson County, but it's a it's a regional thing. So they're having a fundraiser, and that's called the Pub Crawl. It's going to be an amazing event. Um, you'll get to go out at night um, in Madison, Indiana, down Main Street, and some of which the, is beautiful. Yeah, you can just walk and, and ride the trolley. Enjoy it. Yeah. So you know, there's going to be um, all kinds of stuff going on for that. So in order to find out about that, you want to call the Boys and Girls Club and ask for Brandy, and she'll tell you all about the pub crawl and how the funds that are raised will help the club. And uh, so I'm real excited about that one. I think that'll be fun. Yeah. As always, we thank you for watching, and we love you and our sponsors. Yes, we do. We're so thankful. Thanks so much, and we'll see you again. <laughs>